All right, so uh, welcome to Rainbow Six Siege. Today I'm gonna be showing you uh, all the ins and outs of spawn peeking, how to die to it, how not to die to it, how to kill with it, how not to get kills with it, um, how to avoid to being killed by it, and everything else room. like that. So let's start Ten with a um, so real quick debrief on what is spawn peeking. Spawn peeking is Down not running outside and killing people while they're repelling or something like that. That is running out. Spawn peeking is when you find a window that aims, or a window, or an angle, or a door, or anything that aims towards roughly where the other team is spawning and watches it to try to kill them as they're leaving their spawn. For example, probably the most infamous one in the entire game, right there. That's their spawn in there, and this is me. So, before I hear reading, and you know, it's unfair, you shouldn't spawn peek, listen. They know, if this window is open, that I'm a sitting right here. If they drone me out and don't scan me and they just use that knowledge on me, if they just hear when I open it, if they do anything to know that I'm here, or even just predict it and pre-fire it, I am dead. Because I have all of this to watch, okay? And they just have this tiny little window. And you can improve your chances by having multiple spawn peaks. So uh, if I'm spawn peeking, what I'll do is I'll pop this bad boy out. And I'll have this run out. And I'll have this angle right here. And I'll use both of them to try to keep the other team on their toes. But you can still get dropped very, very easily. Um, the advantage is on the other team if they're paying attention. Now, the point of spot peeking is you're trying to avoid the other team paying attention to you. You're trying to catch them off guard, catch them with their pants down, so to speak. Uh, which is, you know, admirable, I guess. It's playing the game to its strengths. And uh, I guess before I start rambling too much, I want to ask the question, what is the core gameplay of Rainbow Six Siege? It's not winning gunfights, okay? It's making gunfights that are advantageous to you. The whole point of the game, cap can traps, uh, you know, frost mats, barricades, thermites, twitch drones, lesion mines, pulses sensor. Uh, it's all about putting you uh, dock over heels, rook armor. Uh, Finca boosts, Tachanka's turret. The whole game is about putting you in situations where you're in a more advantageous position of power. Basically, it's easier for you to win the gunfight. Um, or just kill the person with no gunfight. That's what map knowledge is about. That's what recoil control is about. That's what knowing sound is about. All of the game leads to that simple premise of you try to mold the game to put you in the easy situation to win your gunfight. Spawn peeking is just an extension of that. You're trying to catch other team off guard, and it's a very high risk, high reward. You can get multiple picks off a team that's unaware, but if they're a smart team, if they're a good team, they will just instantly kill you. So, how to avoid uh, just dying every time against good players. So, I'm going to go to a different spawn peek. I'm gonna show you. The proper way to spawn peek is not to do what I was doing over there. You saw when I was over there, I was like sitting out the window and watching it. The proper way to spawn peek, we're gonna assume seven, is going to be the time the round starts, is you're going to wait till the second the round starts, and you're going to pop open a single slat. That's just dandy, it bucked. But, uh, yeah. And then you're going to watch for three seconds. One, two, three, and then you're gone. No more than three seconds. Never more than three seconds. Don't get hungry for kills. If it's more than three seconds, either they didn't spawn there, or they know you're spawn peeking it. 100% of the time. Or they're, they're being, you know, just bros and team killing each other on spawn which is fine um but either they know you're there or they are not there over here towards the other spawn peak down there three seconds if you're there for more than three seconds you messed up and also uh you probably didn't notice this but this window is not broken the slots are broken but that window right there that's still intact i was very careful with the melee to not break the window because the wood makes a lot less noise and the glass. And the glass is much more distinct noise. If you hear glass breaking, you know someone's spawn peeking. If you hear a barricade getting tapped, it can mean a lot of things. So, on this map, there's three spawn peaks that are commonly used. You got this one right here, which aims down. You can also extend it to the right. Get down there if they run around that way. Um, there's the one I was just showing you, the APC spawn peak, which is, I think, the most uh, valid spawn peak. And there's two ways to do this one. You can do that. You can also, if you're a big ball boy, Pop out here if you remain in this zone, you will be and shoot them that way. Your That's valid. And the last one is up here. I'll show you this now. 
I'm going to take three maps, by the way, and just show you the spawn peaks and all those and explain the mindset behind them. This one's the hardest one. But uh, you can catch people up there. Or, if you are a big brain boy, you can even pop up and uh, kill them as they're leaving spawn there. Easy peasy. All those spawns have plenty of room to move. Um, you can you are not in danger until you leave the spawn itself and if you're not watching these windows you have messed up as an attacker I'll be clear about that if you die to these you messed up as an attacker because you have the advantage let's go outside and look you saw I have that one window to peek out of you have entered an enemy controlled area leave now you have been spotted look, by hostiles you got that back. to aim at leaving here I have all of this to aim at I gotta find the person in here or they can just round the corners and be like, oh, enemy up there. You know what I'm saying? Like, the, the locations I could be as a defender are much smaller than the locations the attackers could be. The advantage is on them. Plus, they have better long-range weaponry. They got rifles, they got snipers, they got DMRs, they got LMGs, um, Finca Boost. Like, they have way more options for long-range. I usually just will just have an SMG. That's just I, this. All right. So, that's enough of house. There's a few other options. You can, like, watch some of the spawns over here with this window, I guess. It's not super great. You can watch at the spawn I was showing you first. If this, like, this is also valid. I'm not a fan of that one because you can really easily see it. Um, but again, uh, just the things we went over, just to cover those real quick. Don't spawn peek for more than a few seconds because you will die. Like, don't open a window all the way and stand out here aiming. Because someone, if they didn't spawn here, almost certainly they spawned over there. And they're just going to walk around and boop, shoot you in the head. Okay? Alright. Let me jump to the next map. And I'm going to go a little faster on these next two. Just show you the actual spawn peaks themselves. Forget the, um, the freaking tutorial for how to spawn peak. You know how to spawn peak? So, uh... And my credentials, you ask? Uh, I was a pretty high-level player on console for a while. And uh, I've been playing PC for a little bit. Like a, a little over a year now. About a year. So I'm not super experienced on PC. Uh, I'm a little rough with aiming still. But I still know about every spawn peak. I know every run out. I know every angle. I know the exact timing for all those. Because me and my boys, we use those a lot. A lot every single round we are spawn peeking because people still fall for it and it's sad it is sad how many people fall for it so we'll spawn up here I'm gonna quickly go around and show you the spawn peaks uh, defenders you can spawn peek Rook and Doc have ACOGs obviously great choices I prefer Rook because I think impact grenades are better for mobility um, and his gadget is static meaning that you don't have to be alive to use it you just throw it down other great options are Vigil, because his gun's very accurate, um, and he can avoid drones. Cav, obviously, is an accurate gun. Uh, Wamai's pretty... Now, Wamai and um, Goyo the Destroyo are both solid, because they have very good secondaries. Um, I just got a little uh, Bandito Dorito. So, spawn peaks in this map are pretty basic. Let's go look at the first one. And this is by far the most complicated one, because uh, there's timing to it. So, when the round starts... Before the round starts, actually, we're going to pop this open. Forget about noise, because no one's going to actually know where you're spawn peeking here. You're going to wait three seconds of the round starts, so we'll say starting at 9.45. Round starts now. Two, three, hop out. You have entered an Framed to the left, and the head's going to pop up. Pop, dead, 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 dead. You know how it is. And the thing is, as you're falling back, this wood will give you a little bit of cover to avoid getting shot as you hop back inside. Um, best when done with multiple people, because... They're going to chase you, and they're going to try to get you from this window, too, and possibly this window over here. Like, they will try to kill you, because that's like an insulting run out. That's a, it's a vinegar on the wound kind of run out. That is great to throw out at the beginning of rounds, at the beginning of games, though. No one expects it. Very nice. Just make sure you count, because if you don't count, um, because of the spawn works, if you don't count, you'll be out here for three or four seconds and be detected before they spawn and are, like, visible to you. So that'll be a manage. So if you wait three seconds, they can't get there faster than three seconds. So you can just yeah, pop out right as you're becoming visible. They'll appear in one shot. All right. So next spawn peak on Demenio. 
is the most basic simple spawn peak in the whole game okay you go over here and you pop this and you just aim there that's it that's the whole spawn peak that's that's it that's that's all of it and the last one this is one i've never seen anyone use but myself it is a figment of my own invention and i love it very dearly um we're going over to this window pop her open forgot the noise you're not going to hear you let's go down here real quick you all know about the spawn down uh, down there face this the rappel up uh and you turn this door right so with this spawn peak you're gonna have to be very very lucky and uh, also very accurate and count time correctly but it can get you hella kills so you're gonna count to five one two three four five hop out run up to the right and aim down there and there is like a 50 percent chance there will be a head either right there or right there I'm, I'm not i'm not joking like there was a good chance and if you're really bold you can eat that i could have liked that there's a lot of options there um now this is not the most popular spawn for this uh the other two are much more popular but if someone's there you can drop them and the best part of this is if no one's there there's really no risk you have to climb all the way up the building to get to you from any other angle you're very safe up here um all you got is that angle right there and the spawn itself so yeah um that's all the spawns for this map uh it's pretty simple the, the way you avoid getting spawn peaked from this one is delay your climbing of the building by like a second or just climb on the, the the far right side or just go a little slowly or aim as you're climbing up or anything aside from just climbing up blindly and you'll notice with all of these the counter for them is just to be aware be ready Aim where the spawn peak could come from, be aware of all the spawn peaks, and when you do get spawn peaked, instead of getting angry and claiming that the game is unfair and unbalanced, learn from it. Realize these people are not killing you by outskilling you, they're killing you with a superior amount of knowledge, which is what the game is all about. They know something you don't, but they have just shown you what they know, so from now on you can use that against other people. Uh, and the more people know about it, the less powerful it will be and the less people will use it, and the less you'll be annoyed by spawn peaking. Effectively, the less you make it an insta-kill on you, the less other people will try to use it as an insta-kill on you. It's just a long-term thing. This game is very old at this point. I mean, it's what, five years old, six years old? And there's a lot of new players that don't know about it. And I think Spawn Peak is kind of making a resurgence. So, uh, yeah. Let's look at uh, Bank. Bank's got the last, uh, I think, the last standout Spawn Peaks. Now, there's too many spawn peaks to go over i guess i could go over all of them but i'm not going to unless you really want me to show you every spawn peak you can i'll do that um but that would be a much longer video so if you want that i mean let me know tell me in the comments um i will i'll do that for you but five seconds to insertion yeah let's go over uh spawn peaking in its entirety hostage was not located so let me get my bearings this map is got the most uh interesting spawn peak in the game let's go over the basic one first and i'll show you the uh the massive member one uh so to speak gotta be pg i guess so we're gonna come all the way down here this is the this is the easy peasy this is the uh the bingo mode and this is the uh the preschool spawn peak when the game starts you aim to the left go down here you and you peek out and you look for the area. like that's you it or you go do the same but to the right like, they spawn there, and they spawn over there. So that's two of the spawns. But there's a different spawn peak. A much, much cooler spawn peak. Now, you're going to need impact nades for this. But you can effectively spawn peak. You can check two spawns and four entrances to the building at almost the exact same time. I'm going to show you this, okay? So, first thing you're going to do is before the round starts, you're going to prep this window right here. Rook, I find it's the best for this because the impacts and the static defense. You throw the armor down, and then you uh, keep your impact. Pop this window. Go over here. Open this door. Lots of ways you can do this. I'm going to try to get it with a grenade. Okay, you open that hatch. You might, you might be knowing what I'm talking about, okay? We'll assume 8.30 is a, this round start time. Three, two, one. We're going to run out. If you remain in this zone, you will be you check the spawn peak here. Give it a three seconds. No one's there. 
Come back inside. Notice it counted to three when I was started checking it. Come over here. You're going to check down to the left and the right. boop de boop No one's there. Hop over this. You're going to jump down here. Angle and aim here. And if they didn't come from there, they're just now entering this tunnel. Even a three speed. I want to I clarify. Even a three speed running at full speed will not beat you to this tunnel. If you do that speed peak right. As you drop down, they'll be entering it. And you can just boop, kill them. After you check that, run your little buddy buddy butt down here and just clear this real quick they're probably not expecting you down here unless you're defending basement sweep and clear that real quick what have we just learned by just doing that little spawn that that peak right there we just learned that the enemies are all either repelling in or they're coming in through the main area the main entrance we just checked every other entrance except for repelling in or this door right here so yeah that's uh that's one of my favorite things i've been using recently i really enjoy doing that i even don't get kills the information you gather from it is very very valuable um there's really much more to say about spawn peaking unless you want like a full guide that would be much longer like on all the spawn peaks and stuff and i want to clarify i understand it's annoying to die with spawn peaking. it's annoying it's frustrating no one likes it but you can't just avoid it happening it's gonna happen to you the question is, are you going to let it tilt you and just have this moral stance that it shouldn't be allowed in Siege and they should avoid it? Or are you going to adapt and be better at the game and get back at people to do it to you? Because this isn't a game about moral playstyles. Obviously, cheating isn't okay. But this is a game about shooting people through walls and heartbeat sensors and traps and trip mines and uh, thermal scopes and all that kind of stuff. This is about being as unfair as possible. You aren't trying to win fair gunfights. If you're playing Siege trying to win fair gunfights, you're going to be stuck in silver for a very long time because you can't. People are better than you. Most people are better than you. This isn't about being better than people. It's about being smarter than them. Okay? So, that's about it. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk about being toxic i guess in rainbow six siege uh if you like the content comment subscribe all that jazz uh i upload not very frequently but if i can get siege to record properly which i think i may have i may start uploading more siege uh i can do guides and stuff i used to do gun guides for this game way back when but i deleted all of them because they were cringy as hell but i might go back and do something like that um so yeah any uh ideas or something like that just leave in the comments and i'll get right back to it I respond to every comment that is respondable to, and that's enough time, you know, advertising myself. I will let you be. You have a nice day. Uh, deuces.